that you have to manage with the different sets of urgency in the postseason. And we started doing it, um, I think, uh, about two and a half weeks out. You know, we wanted to try to get in postseason mode, you know, about two and a half weeks out before we got into the postseason so our guys would be ready for it. You know, we've done things like we've, you know, we've extended Kelvin Herrera. We've extended Wade Davis. Um, you know, we had Holly up to come in the ball game, uh, you know, on the road in a tie situation. You, you know, we're just, we're doing things differently. We're, we're, we're defending a little bit earlier. We're pinch running more, um, you know, in certain situations, to, you know, to try to win baseball games. And, you know, the scrutiny is a scrutiny, you know, and I've come to find out, you know, I can put a player in the ball game and if he gets a base hit or gets a big out, nobody's going to say a word, you know. I put that same player in the ball game and he strikes out or he gives up a hit, then, it, you know, it's, it's all the second guessing uh, that comes down on you. Uh, I've learned that, you know, that it's neither right or wrong most of the time. You've made the right decision. It either works out or it doesn't work out. And, um, you know, again, the scrutiny, does it bother you? Ah, maybe a little bit if you know about it. So that's why I don't read the paper. I don't watch, you know, any of the, the baseball programs and stuff like that. I try to stay in my own little world with my coaching staff because we pretty much have a plan. Every time we go into this game, we know exactly what we want to do before the game starts. If we get in each and every situation where we've already considered all of our options and what we want to do when we get there. And when we get there, we just put it into play. Now, if it works out, well, then I look smart, right? If it doesn't, then I'm stupid. And that's just the way it works. And standing on your right. Ned, if you had to pinpoint one thing that's gotten your club to this point, what do you think it would be? The one thing that has gotten us to this point was, um, I think, the patience that Dayton and I had with this young group all year long, especially um, at the uh, trade deadline where we felt like, uh, you know, our team was good enough to win a championship. We allowed them to continue to grow and get better. But the biggest point, the biggest thing that has gotten us to this point right here was our, uh, the wild card game. You know, to come back from, from those odds the way that they did, I think this showed each and every man in that locker room that we're capable of doing anything. You know, they, they made it, there was a lot of, um, he, he, there was a lot about, you know, our lack of postseason um, experience. But after that game, how much more experience do you need? I mean, being down four against John Lester in the eighth inning with the, with the energy and the excitement that was in that, in that stadium that night, for them to battle back and find a way to win that game, I think gave each and every man in that locker room tremendous confidence that, hey, we can accomplish almost anything.